Gina McCarthy, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down and talk with us here at the Weather Channel. Thanks, Rick. Families, consumers wanting to yep. uh, purchase and operate electric vehicles or get yeah. solar panels, what sort of incentives uh, will the administration be putting forth to make those things more affordable for Americans? One of the good things is that, that we're already committing to take a look at these charging stations and to make sure that we're investing in at least 500,000 of them across the country. But we also are looking at potential consumer rebates so that it brings the cost down. And we're also looking at tax credit strategies as well. And so there's all kinds of proposals and what will happen next is these proposals will will go to Congress and then to invest at a level that is bold <laughs> not just mundane if we don't start challenging ourselves in terms of reducing greenhouse gases then the danger the risk that that poses to us as a country and well beyond uh, will be much too heavy a burden for our kids to bear students who are going to graduate from high school and college, what their career options might be. Even for people who have worked in the fossil fuel industry or still do, what are the opportunities going forward for everybody? Part of the recognition is that if you invest in infrastructure like roads and bridges, if you invest in manufacturing again in the United States, if you invest in retrofitting and making homes energy efficient, that ching 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 chings into actual economic development opportunities and lots of jobs. You have energy sector jobs that are that are changing. You have terrific opportunities in offshore wind, which we've just really begun to just tap. And it's an amazing opportunity. And, and ocean in solar. wave energy too. Oh my, yeah. ocean boat sequestration, as well as opportunities for, for actual jobs and, and wind energy and wave energy. The other thing that the president has recognized is that in this shift to clean energy, that there are some transitions that, that are going to be hard. And we need to think about that. So what we're doing is actually investing millions of dollars right now and expect to invest billions in that transition so that folks that are in coal country now get an opportunity to have an immediate job in their communities just going after the old orphan wells. But one of the fun things that, that we're proposing and already going to be investing in with the budget that the president submitted is uh, something called the Civilian Climate Corps. It's the new CCC. So we're going to learn from that playbook. Before you became uh, the National Climate Advisor, yeah. uh, you talked about how you know, we need to get like an Anthony Fauci of the environment, <laughs> I right? Did say right. That. You know, he's been the fa the scientific face of the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, do we need that for climate? The thing that I was referring to is that Anthony Fauci has two incredible qualities. He's a great scientist, but two, he can talk to people and make it real. That is what climate has failed to do for too long. I think maybe, maybe we have many Anthony Fauci's right now, uh, which is a good thing. I don't think there's anybody better than President Biden at really making people understand that he's working for them and them only. And that's a pretty nice gift, I think. It is for me anyways.